the end of our spooky adventures in the world of Disney is nigh. Because it's time for the finals in the, in the story. Our final story is up. One brave Doug. It was a dark and stormy night. The explorer Charles Muntz had gone to bed, but his faithful pack of dogs was still awake. Suddenly, a large flash of lightning lit up the sky. Oh, that was very bright, Doug said. Across the room, Alpha, Beta, and Gamma huddled together. The three dogs hated storms, especially ones with scary lightning and thunder. But they would never admit that to Doug. Mm. Just then, a loud rumble of thunder shook the airship. Beta and Gamma nah, jumped. Beside them, Alpha cringed. Why isn't Doug scared? Gamma whispered. <clears throat> Alpha looked over at the golden retriever. He's not smart enough to be scared, <clears throat> he said. <clears throat> Let's see. <clears throat> hey, Doug, why aren't you afraid of Storm? Beta called. Doug turned. Should I be scared? He asked. Maybe I am. Thank you, my pack. You are helping me be a better Doug. Alpha smiled slyly. He was always looking for ways to get Doug in trouble. And he had just come up with a fantastic new plan. You seem to be enjoying the storm, Alpha told Duck. Uh, uh, Doug, mm, excuse me. That must mean you are a very brave dog. I am, Doug said, lifting one ear smiling. Let's see, you are Alpha and very smart. No, let's see, I will agree with you. It's good that you are brave, Alpha continued. Master told us that you should go outside and look for the, to look for the bird. He thinks it might come out in this weather. The bird likes storms. Charles Munson had been searching for a special creature for as long as Doug could remember. Drawings of the bird-like animal filled every wall in their home. Doug's eyes lit up. Master has thought about me and has given me a mission. I must leave at once. Gamma and Beta started laughing. Let's see, there's no way Doug won't be scared once he's outside in that storm, Gamma said. Let's see, Master will be so angry when he finds Doug gone, Beta added. Let's see, Alpha, this is your best idea yet, Gamma said. I don't want to miss watching him getting scared. Watching him get scared. Let's follow him. Doug bolted outside, eager to start his mission. Within seconds, his fur was soaked by the pouring rain and ruffled by the fierce wind. Find the bird. Find the bird. Master has given me a job to do. I must not let him down. Doug was so focused on finding the creature that he didn't notice Alpha, Beta, and Gamma trailing behind him. At the edge of the jungle, Doug paused. The trees... Hmm. But he cast long shadows and hid the moon and stars from sight. Doug continued on. The dark is very quiet, he said. Suddenly, Doug heard a rustling coming from the trees. Looking up, he saw countless pairs of giant glowing eyes watching him. Far behind, Doug, Alpha, no, we see. No, we see. No, Beta and Gamma no, saw the glowing eyes too. Nah! The three screamed. What are those scary eyes? Doug moved around to the moonlit side of the tree. Looking up, he saw that the, that the eyes belonged to a group of fruit bats that munching happily on some fruit. Hello, Doug said. You are not the bird. You are bats. You must be able to see very far from up there. Have you seen a bird? Alpha breathed a sigh of relief. They're just fruit bats, he said. He was glad that the eyes didn't no, no, see belong to anything really scary. Gamma was not so calm. He cowered behind Beta, covering his eyes. Are they gone? Are they gone? Alpha scowled. He expected Doug to be scared, but it said the golden retriever seemed happy. Hmm. The rain was still pouring down, but Doug didn't mind. No, wishing the bats well, he continued on his way. Doug had not gone far when he felt that something small and slimy brushed past his leg. Something is on the ground near my leg. Hmm. 
Betsy Dog said. I wonder what it could be. Behind Dog, Beta, no, is he jumped into the air or something? No, is he slimy? No, is he, no, is he, is he bumped against his leg? His leg, too. Snake, he cried. It's going to get me. It's going to wrap itself around me, squeeze me tight in. Shh, Beta whispered. Quiet! What is the matter with you? Hmm. But <laughs> the bird's right there. <laughs> Just then, lightning flashed. A dog saw that he was standing beside a rushing creek. A family of frogs, no, was he was happily jumping past, past it towards, no, was he toward the slick rocks. Hello, you are frogs, Doug, Doug said. You are splashing about. You look like you are having fun. I am having fun too. I am looking for the bird. Perhaps you have seen it, but the frogs just kept hopping along. As Thug walked deeper into the jungle, he heard leaves rustle on the path ahead of him. Squirrel! Doug cried, turning towards the sound. Doug looked around, but he didn't see anything. I was mistaken. There was nothing there, he said. Putting his nose to the ground, Doug kept going. Soon he came to a big clearing. On the far side, he thought he saw a tall, thin shadow moving in the darkness at the mouth of a cave. Doug bounded across the clearing to investigate, wagging his tail eagerly. Find a bird! Find a bird! Find a bird! Hmm. Behind him, Alpha, Gamma, and Beta crept toward the edge of the clearing. They were cold, tired, and frustrated. We're an idea, Alpha. Hmm. We see Beta complaint. We spent the whole night roaming around the jungle getting soaked. And the only one that's been scared is Gamma. By much of heartless, uh, by, by much of harmless fruit bats. No, it wasn't. Hmm. Was he Gamma replied. Besides, they were scared of a bunch of tiny frogs. You are both scaredy dogs! Now Alpha hissed at them. There is nothing to be scared. Wait, look! The dogs had turned in time to see Doug enter the dark cave. Doug is sure to be scared in there, Beta said. Or lost for good. Mm. Now, was he suddenly a huge bolt of lightning flashed across the sky? Illuminating the clearing. Through the rain, the dog saw a horrible, fearsome looking shadow standing at the mouth of the cave. <laughs> Alpha shouted, It's a monster! Run for your life! Alpha, Beta, and Gamma turned on their heels and it dashed it through the jungle back toward the safety of the blimp. Now, Alpha's screams got Doug's attention. Oh, it is my pack, he said. They must have worried about me. They know how important my mission is, and it came to help. They are the best friends a Doug could ever have. Doug tilted his head to one side. I wonder where they are going. Mm. Now, from the mouth of the cave, Doug saw that the rain had slowed and the sun was rising. Its rays broke through the, uh, broke through the rain clouds, creating a breathtaking rainbow. The sun is rising, Doug said. That is why they are running. Master will be awake soon. I must go back and report. No, let's see. No, Beta, Gamma, Alpha, Doug shouted when he got home. Looking around the airship, Doug saw that the rest of his pack was not there. My pack must still be outside. I will wait for them. Just then, months walked into the room. Master, Doug said, you are awake. I must tell you all about my mission. What mission? Months snapped. What are you talking about? Where are the rest of the dogs? <laughs> Doug smiled at his master. They are outside. What? Munz shouted. They went out in that winter? Crazy dogs. The, the thunder must have scared them silly, and they'll be trenched from the rain. Ooh, they are in so much trouble when they get back, I swear. <clears throat> Munz shook his head and looked down at Doug. Come on, he said. No, let's get the day started. I'll deal with those silly dogs later. But you, they got themselves. Mm. No, let's see. No, lost. We're lost. And that game of crying. The dogs were cold, wet, and terrified. And to make matters worse, the rain had washed away their footprints. They had no idea how to get home. Great idea, Alpha. And that beta grumble. Let's give Doug a mission to scare him. And that get him in trouble with the master. But look at us. We are the ones who are lost. 
Will you please shut your mouth, Alpha barked. Keep looking for our footprints. That's the only way we'll ever get home. He hung his head. Master will be so displeased with us when he finds us gone. This is all Doug's fault. <laughs> the end. <laughs>